What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Kicker Scuba and Marina. If you are new to our channel, do me a huge favor, hit this little subscribe button right here and ding that little bell as well. That way you guys are going to be notified every time we upload new content. Now, we're on the next to the last video of my personal rig rundowns for 2022. And if you can't tell by what you see behind me, it is fin day. And we're going to be looking at the sets of fins that I'm currently using for 2022. And I'll give you a brief explanation of why I'm using them as well. So with that being said, let's jump over here and let's get started. Hi guys, as you can see, my fin selection is a very small fin selection, especially for 2022. Now, once again, this is not all the fins that I own. I own more fins than probably any other type of dive gear out there. But these are the only ones that I'm actually using in 2022. And we're going to look at each one individually, and I'll kind of explain why I use what I do. So starting out, let's go over to the Avanti Quattro, and I really don't have to say much about them. You guys know I'm a huge fan of the Avanti Quattros. They're a very, very powerful bladed fin that's going to work for just about any kick pattern out there. Um, and they've got the right material or the right blend of material to give you the response that you need. So they're going to be lightweight. They're going to have a quick response or a quick kick back on them. And they're just an all-around great fin to use. You can paddle kick or you can uh, flutter kick with these, and they're not going to be too heavy. The Foot pockets are very spacious, so they come in different sizes, obviously. Now, I have equipped these with the spring straps, the Mario's XR spring straps, but you can get them with the ABS buckle. You can get them with a uh, bungee strap. Of course, I've got the spring straps. And another cool little feature, they have a universal post on them. And all that means is you can put other manufacturer springs and uh, bungees and whatever you want to put on there. So they are universal with most manufacturers out there. And I really, really love the Avanti Quattros. Now, the last thing is, of course, these are my SSI branded ones. You guys know I'm an SSI instructor trainer. And each year when we renew, we get a special buy-in. Uh, these came with a mask and a snorkel set um, probably about 10 years ago during a buy-in. And I've loved these fins ever since. And as a matter of fact, I think I have about five or six pair of Avanti Quattros now. All right, moving on over to my free diving fins. Yes, I am a free diver, guys. I'm constantly working on getting my levels higher and higher and getting my instructor levels up there as well. Right now, I'm currently diving the Mares Razor Apnea di or, uh, Free Diving Fin. And I actually like these fins. They're not too heavy on me. They fit very good. I do wear socks with these. These are a full foot fin. I do wear socks when I'm wearing these. Um, I have found that, unfortunately, the rubber that is used on these, um, I don't know if I have allergic reaction or what, but it does tear on the back of my heel a little bit. And the fins are not too tight, but they're not too loose neither. They have been properly fitted for my feet, so I still have to wear socks on there. But I love the response of these fins. They are very, very powerful, and they are smooth when they're in the water. You can break these fins down if you need to for travel, which makes it very easy as well. But that's the Mares Razor Apnea, and that's what I'm currently using in 2022 for free diving. Now, the last set of fins that we're going to look at, of course, are my Power Planas. And guys, these are a true workhorse. You'll probably notice that these are pretty dirty right now. And if you follow our channel, you know we do a ton of public safety and salvage diving. And to be honest with you, yesterday evening, we went out and did a salvage dive. That's why they're still dirty. I hadn't had a chance to wash them up real quick. But the Power Planas are a solid rubber fin, and they are built like a tank. Um, virtually indestructible. I've done unimaginable things to these fins and you cannot tear them up. Now they do come in three different versions. So you can get the non XR version, which comes with a bungee strap. You can get the XR version, which comes with the spring straps, just like I got here, or you can get the XR blue battle version. Now the blue battle version was the blue camo that matched the blue battle uh, backplate and wing that the, came out with the Mares XR line. Um, these are actually the standard version. So these come in the recreational version. And I simply took the bungees off and put the Mares XR straps on them. But once again, just like the Avanti Quattros, they have a universal post there. So you can pretty much mount any manufacturer's straps on there. Of course, there's going to be some you can't, like the Hollis system and things like that. 
but they will fit just about any universal mount um, strap system on the back. So if you need to replace your fin straps and there's not a Mares dealer uh, local, it's going to be very easy for you. But I use these, of course, for all our public safety dives, all our salvage dives, or if I'm going to be in an area that is just plumb nasty and I don't want to have to clean a set of white fins or whatnot, of course, I'm going to use these right here because they are built like a tank and they can take a beating and keep on kicking. But uh, that's the Mares Power Planas. So there you go guys, that's my fin selection for 2022. That's what I'm currently using and I'll probably be using these for a very long time as well. But guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you got any questions or comments on these fins, let me know down below and I'll try to answer it the best I can. Uh, I've actually did test with these fins in the past. I'll try to link that test down below just so you can see the efficiency of these fins as well. But let me know down in the comments section what your favorite fin is and why you use it and what type of diving you do with it as well. But guys, I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give me a big thumbs up. Up, definitely share it as well. As always, make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Like us on Facebook. Pin us on Pinterest. Subscribe to us here on YouTube. And as always, guys, we appreciate your business. All right, guys, let's address something really quick because I'm sure somebody's going to say something in the comment section here, and I want to make it clean and clear. This is a display for a video. Nothing more, nothing less. Do me a favor. Please do not ever store your fins on the blade tip just like that. Always stand it up with a blade facing up. And just for the record, this is not even how I store my fins. Typically when I store my fins, I come right over here to my BC rack and I hang them on the BC rack, just like so. I hang them on the BC that they go with and I simply just lay them out. That is the best way to store your fins. If you store them in a bag or something like that, that's great. Make sure there's a grommet in the bottom of the bag so that your fins can drain out and you're not getting mildew and all that nasty stuff on them. But please do not store your fins with the fin tips down. The only reason I did it in this video is just to show you the fin. This video took about 10 minutes to shoot and edit and upload, so yeah. Do not store your fins like that. Hang them up, because if you do, you're going to damage the blade.